All right, Orion constellation, Orion the constellation. So basically, it's a constellation of stars. All right, um, Mazaroth, Mazaroth, or Mazara, Salakia, uh, means uh, the twelve signs of the zodiac and the thirty-six associated constellations. All right, and then the next one, um, Arcturus, which which is Ayash means a constellation, Great Bear, Ursa Major. You can, you know, type this name in Arcturus on Wikipedia get some info on it. But, yeah, the point is that, yeah, all this knowledge is actually in the scriptures, man. And like the elders saying, don't get bugged out on this stuff because we're going to get it back in the kingdom anyway, you know? Like when you read uh, Revelation 22 about John seeing, um, um, in, in the heavens, basically, he's seen the 12 manner of fruit, you know, which is the healing of the nations. You know, we're going to have this understanding in the kingdom. All right, but I'm just showing you that these things are in the scriptures, and we actually dealt with them. We had the knowledge of in the ancient world. All right, um, I'm gonna go to book of uh, Amos, chapter five and uh, verse eight. It says, "Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion." Remember, we read the seven constellations of stars. So this is all in the scriptures, man. And turneth, I'm reading again. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning. Slakia. And maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Okay. Um, let's go to Genesis 1, right? Because Mosai made this from the beginning. It says, And the powers said, 1 14, And the powers said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven. Right? The firmament is the ozone layer, so to speak, of the heaven, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years and Iskar had that blessing he understood what those signs meant all right um, let's go to a book of Daniel chapter 1 and uh, 19 it says and the king commanded and the king communed with them and among them all was found none like Daniel Hananiah Mishael and Az Azariah Therefore stood they before the king, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. So they were ten times better than all the ma the Babylonian magicians and 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 and, astron and, and astron astrologers, like you, you know, the study of the sky, basically, and the stars. All right, so like I said, we had that knowledge, man. And let's go to the fifth chapter and the uh, tenth verse. It says, Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king and his lords, came into the banquet house. And the queen spake and said, O king, live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee, nor let thy countenance be chained. Now this is ap after the apparition happened when when um, the hand wrote on the wall, the hand uh, wrote that that kingdom is is uh is uh given into the uh um the the Medes and the Persians basically you know that that time is measured all right so the king is worried right now but the queen came and said you know fret fret not basically you know verse eleven there is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods and in the days of thy father and in the days of thy father light and understanding and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods was found in him. Whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say, thy father made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. It says, For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting of dreams and shewing of hard sentences, and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel. Alright, so that was the point. Uh, and I'm going to go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and uh, 16 alright because this is Solomon speaking because like I said man we all had this knowledge man you know Solomon Damsher had this knowledge alright verse 17 16 so like it, verse, chapter 7 verse 16 for in his hand are both we and our words all wisdom also and knowledge of workmanship for he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are namely to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements Right, because you crack and say, oh, there's no science in the Bible. He just told you, Solomon knew how the world was made, all right, and the operation of the elements, all right. 
the, the beginning, ending, and midst of times, the alteration of the turning of the sun and the change of seasons, the circuits of years and the positions of stars, the natures of living creatures and the furies of wild beasts, the violence of winds and the reasonings of men, the, the diversities of plants and the virtues of roots, and all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. Alright, so Solomon knew all these things, man. Alright.